A new study finds that bull sperm swims more effectively in clusters, potentially providing insight into human fertility. The behavior increases the likelihood that groups of cooperative bovine sperm will outperform meandering loners in a race to fertilize a female egg cell in simulated reproductive tracts of animals such as cattle and humans, report physicist Chikwan Tung and colleagues in Frontiers in Cell and Developmental Biology on September 22. The advantages of clustering are not solely related to speed. They're not faster, says Tung, a professor at North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University in Greensboro. They are comparable or slower in terms of speed than sperm traveling alone. The winners in the sperm equivalent of herds of tortoises racing individual hares are not necessarily the fastest, but rather the ones who can stay on target. Sperm naturally follows curved paths, which is a problem, because the straight line is the shortest distance between two points. When sperm congregates in groups of two or more, it takes a more direct path. The same researchers observed this behavior in a previous study in which they tracked sperm swimming in stationary fluids. Although this could give sperm clusters an advantage, it would only be beneficial if they were heading in the right direction. Other advantages of sperm clustering were not apparent until the researchers devised an experimental setup that included flowing fluid. Sperm travels to the ovum in mammals such as humans and cattle by swimming against a current of mucus that flows through the cervix and away from the uterus. It's difficult to study the benefits of clustering while swimming upstream within living beings. Tung and colleagues devised an analog in their lab, a shallow, narrow 4-centimeter long channel filled with a thick fluid that mimics natural mucus and flows at rates that the researchers could control. Sperm naturally swims upstream, whether alone or in groups. Clusters of sperm in the experiment, on the other hand, did a better job of moving upstream into the mucus flow, whereas individual sperm were more likely to go in other directions. Despite the faster travels of some individual sperm, the ability of sperm loners to point upstream hampered their progress when compared to slower moving clusters. Clusters of sperm travel more consistently against the flow than individual sperm do in a thick, mucus-like fluid flowing from left to right. Clusters also remain steady in the face of rapidly flowing mucus. Many individual sperm were washed away when the researchers increased the flow in their apparatus. Sperm clusters had a much lower chance of being swept downstream. While the sperm in the study was bovine, Tung believes the benefits of clustering should also apply to human sperm. Both species as sperm have similar dimensions. Typically, the swimmers compete to fertilize a single ovum. In addition, unlike pigs or other animals, where sperm is deposited directly in the uterus, both human and bovine sperm begin in the vagina and travel through the cervix to reach the uterus. Tung believes that studying sperm in fluids that closely resemble the flowing mucus in reproductive tracts could reveal problems that aren't apparent in traditional observations of sperm swimming in stationary fluids. One hope is that this type of knowledge can help us do better diagnoses in order to provide clues to understanding human infertility. According to fertility researcher Christopher Barrett of the University of Dundee in Scotland, who was not involved in the study, subjecting sperm to realistic settings in the lab, may soon offer practical help for people who are having difficulty conceiving. How a sperm cell responds to its surroundings and how that affects its behavior is a very important subject, says Barrett. This type of technology could be used or adapted to select better quality sperm for people seeking fertility treatment. That would be a huge deal. We will bring new and exciting news and updates from around the world every Monday and Friday, sometimes on Wednesdays. So, stay connected by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. Your support is extremely valuable to us to carry on, so that we can keep bringing the most important and exciting news that really matters.